Hey guys, today we will be taking a look at both the KDE and GNOME version of OpenSUSE 11.4. Uh, we will more or less be getting a feel for the different versions. You know, you might be able to de determine which version um, is best for you, which version you like more, the KDE or the GNOME version. Okay, so first let's look at the desktops. Obviously, in the KDE version, you have the desktop folder widget here with the default um, application launchers. I don't believe that you can create actual ARM um, folders and launchers on the actual desktop area here. Whereas in the GNOME version, you, you can obviously just right-click and select create folder or create launcher or create document, etc. Also, in the KDE version, you have options at the top here for the desktop and options at the bottom here for the ARM taskbar. Now let's look at the different taskbars. In um, the KDE version, you have the kickoff application launcher, whereas you have this different application launcher in the um, GNOME version, it's just called computer. Um, you have um, the show desktop button on the left in the KDE version, and it's all the way on the right in the GNOME version, which I personally prefer, it's a bit like Windows 7. Uh, in the KDE version, by default, you have the Firefox and the Dolphin launchers, and you have the um, Desktop 1, Desktop 2, Desktop 3, Desktop 4, um, towards the left of the screen, whereas in the GNOME version, you have the old style Desktop 1, 2, 3, and 4, which has been with GNOME pretty much since the beginning. Um, and in KDE, you have um, the Notifications and Jobs icon, it usually tells you if there are system updates, etc. Um, I currently have clipboard contents open here and volume control. And this is for the network interface. I'm currently connected to the internet. I don't know why it's like that. And you have the KDE calendar. And let's compare it to the um, GNOME calendar. I personally prefer the GNOME calendar. Um, and now, now let's look at the GNOME launchers by default. We have the Tomboy Notes launcher, and we have Configure Display Settings, we have the Volume Control, and that's pretty much it. Let's compare the actual menus now. Uh, the KDE menu, we have Favorites, Applications, Computer, Recently Used, and Leave. And in GNOME, we have a different style menu. We have Applications, Documents, and Places. And with the KDE menu, you can easily access, you know, the different um, applications, you know, in the menu. Whereas in the GNOME version, you have to click more applications and it opens a separate window. Um, I am not a big fan of this. Um, I prefer to um, access the application applications from the actual menu. Now let's take a look at the um, actual default applications. So um, for internet, I believe that they should both have Firefox 4 beta 12. Okay, internet. And also um, with the more applications, um, window in GNOME closes as soon as you open an application. You might like that, dislike that. It's all preference really. Uh, so they both look pretty much exactly the same apart from the different theming going on. Uh, let's see, what else can we have a look at? They should um, both have LibreOffice, I believe. Uh, Office, yep, they both have LibreOffice. And they should both have GIMP, you know, pretty much every Linux distribution has GIMP for graphics. Yep, oh, and they also have Cheese. Um, I quite like the Cheese webcam application. Uh, I don't believe KDE has it by default. And instant messaging, they instant messaging, and um, they have empathy. Uh, and I believe, oh no, they only have empathy. I thought they had another client as well. Uh, and in the KDE version, what do we have here? Uh, we have Copetti and we have Chocock. I'm not sure whether or not I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, what other categories can we take a look at? Multimedia. I know they have different multimedia players. Uh, where are we? Um, in KDE, you have Amarok, and in GNOME, you have Banshee. Um, I am personally more of a Banshee fan than an Amarok fan. Um, Amarok is okay, though um, 
Uh, I don't know, I'm just not a big fan of it. Like, I think when you first use Amarok, you have to customize it more for your own liking, whereas Banshee is pretty much, you know, unhappy with the interface by default. Um, they, having said that, they both they aren't the best um, audio players um, anyhow, though by default I think Banshee is a better player than Amarok. Okay, they're both going to let me know they're going to, you know, hide in the system tray. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, let's take a look at Yast and see if Yast is the same in both distributions. Okay, GNOME is prompting me for a password. Okay, let's see. Uh, I would just like to say that um, KDE also um, prompts you for a password, though I ventured it not too long ago, so it didn't ask me that time. Uh, they both look pretty similar really. So if I select hardware here and hardware here, you should see all of the um, same applications application settings listed here. So not much of a change there really. Let's compare the actual home folders. Um, where is it here? Home. There shouldn't be much of a difference. Um, you know, you have all of the same folders. Though obviously KDE uses the Dolphin file manager, whereas I believe that GNOME uses Nautilus, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it does. I am personally more of a Dolphin fan than a Nautilus fan. Um, and also another thing I would like to, um, you know, state, or you've probably obviously noticed, uh, I don't think the GNOME version has a very good theme by default. You've got this sort of ugly black, green and grey theme. And um, the KDE theme looks a lot nicer by default. It's a lot more friendlier on the eyes. I'm not sure if they have any um, other themes um, in GNOME by default. Now they just have the um, you know standard GNOME themes. They haven't made any additional GNOME OpenSUSE themes. So um, you might have to download a new theme if you don't like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a bit better than the default. Yeah, I think they should definitely change the um, default theme. It doesn't look as nice as it could look. More so, um, more so um, inside of Nautilus. You know, you've got this sort of ugly grey and green look. You know, they should maybe include a new icon set. Get rid of the whole greyish colour. It does look, you know, pretty awful in my opinion. Um, I have been using the KDE version of OpenSUSE for quite a while now. I tried the GNOME version for the first time last night. And I will be honest, um, I am not a big fan of the GNOME version. Um, I personally prefer KDE a little more than I um, like. Uh, prefer GNOME. So having said that, I don't believe that OpenSUSE has the best GNOME implementation out there. And um, I think they put a bit more love into the KDE distribution than they put into the GNOME distribution. If you are a big GNOME fan, then I would highly recommend you um, check out um, Linux Mint 10 if you already haven't done so. Um, in my opinion, that is the um, best um, implementation of GNOME that I have seen. And there is obviously Ubuntu, which um, does the implementation a little differently. You have the top and the bottom bar. So with GNOME, I am not really um, installing any new GNOME distributions at the moment. I am just um, waiting um, and you know waiting for GNOME 3.0 to come out. Um, I have um, mucked around with um, you know some of the pre-release versions of GNOME 3.0, and it's a completely different experience. So. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend you check out the KDE version of OpenSUSE. I personally couldn't recommend the GNOME version of OpenSUSE, though if you are looking for a nice GNOME desktop, I would recommend that you check out Linux Mint 10. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.